Hey, just as a quick demo to show you how to uh, watch the size of your blocks at least. Uh, I made a quick page in here to edit called Test Firebugs for Resizing Blocks and uh, go ahead and publish that. And um, now let's go into Headway into the visual editor. And I do want to warn you, um, I'm using Firebug, which is a great tool. And so let's go in here to page, test Firebug for resizing blocks. And I'm just going to use an empty grid. Okay. Alrighty. Now then, uh, let's show Firebug. You push F12 and it brings up that display. And um, I'll open this thing up. I don't have anything on here yet, so uh, let's go ahead and make a header. And I'll drag it out first and create header. And now it's actually generated. So now I'll click on the little icon down here with the arrow on the blue box. And click on just the edge there so that I know I'm looking at that. And there is the code down here and it shows um, information about the block, the height 90 pixels, the top at 50, position absolute and uh, alright so now I'm going to drag hold of this thing and you'll see that there's now a a width changing on the very bottom right it's around 790, 723 and it looks like I have to um, to be actually pulling that for it to show. You see in the yellow it shows width 723 and then it jumps right now to 680 because it's jumping the width of the column plus the width of the gutter. Okay right now I have those at a uh, 35 plus 8 so that is uh, 43. Okay and uh, all right so then for height same thing you see the height uh, showing its change to so 110, 120, and it 130 and it jumps at 10 pixels uh, at a time. Hope you're seeing that. Um, again, I'll pull this. Let's see if I can. There we go. See the height 140 down there in the bottom, and uh, and the width at 6 at 37. So that shows up while I'm actually manipulating it. Okay and you can pull both at the same time. But that's how you can get your dimensions to find out what your dimensions are of your thing and it's going to be fixed to the column width and to these multiples of 10 in terms of the height at this point in time. So you'll have to make your graphic that's going to go in here either a perfect fit to that rectangle um, or uh, make it close and then let me hide this then under the config hit this little arrow right there where it says show options for this block and under uh, header image you choose image and have it automatically resize the header image will do what it can but I find that if you've got a background color if you don't get it sized exactly you're going to wind up with some of the background color showing even when you use this it, though it, sometimes it will crop a bit so best just to get it the right size and uncheck that box, get the right size image to begin with. Okay, so I hope that's helpful.